The new Freeform Design feature in AutoCAD introduces a new type of mesh that uses subdivision for achieving more flexibility when there is a need for smooth shapes. This feature was possible thanks to a close collaboration with the Maya team. Some other enhancements were also necessary, such as subobject filters and more functionality for direct manipulation of geometry with the gizmo. You can now work with different levels of smoothness and change them as appropriate. After smoothing the mesh, manipulation of the object is really easy with the new subobject filters, which allow the selection of different entities in the model, like faces, edges, and vertices. See how the gizmo can quickly change from move into rotate or scale with options for relocation and alignment directly in canvas via a right click. This approach to modeling out of a primitive is really close to a concept of sculpting or modeling with clay. It is, without doubt, one of the first activities that anyone does with hands at school, which makes this pretty intuitive and much easier and less abstract than thinking about paths and profiles for building surfaces. Not a bad first approach is with shapes, don't you think? Many people are still not aware that AutoCAD has very powerful 3D features and we want to make sure that all of you understand the wide range of possibilities available with modeling in AutoCAD. And this is just the beginning. Familiarity is also key. Snaps and keyboard inputs of values are enabled, ensuring the necessary accuracy where appropriate. Snap overrides like mid between two points can be a smart alternative for a mirror tool. This ease of use, added to the familiarity of the environment, makes it really easy and fun to model inside AutoCAD. Let's work with the model a little more and make some interesting shapes. You can keep manipulating the geometry like in this rotation, but there's an instant feedback that would allow a better understanding of the whole design intent. If there's a need to select many sub at the same time, the view cube will help by quickly moving into the appropriate parallel view for a window selection. It's so easy to create these shapes that the exploration of alternatives will not be an issue anymore. Definitely time is not a problem now. Conversion from mesh into solids or surfaces is a unique capability within AutoCAD that creates either smooth or faceted solids or surfaces out of any watertight mesh. The optimization stitches faces with G2 continuity so you can have the least amount of nerve patches in the solid. This is also fundamental when exporting into Revit, for example. Creating a section can help in a better understanding of the model and can also provide a starting point for documentation. Let's now see the part in its context. In this case, this motorcycle, which was modeled 100% inside AutoCAD using mesh and solids. Another section will show that the converted mesh can now allow any of the solid operations like, in this case, shell. Within a few hours, a proficient user can come up with a model like this, which will have taken an important amount of time before, or will have just been impossible to create. For a better visualization of the model, let's import it into Showcase and use an environment that will provide interesting reflections. You can change materials and navigate the scene, having a better understanding of the design and being also able to communicate the idea in a more professional way. AutoCAD is definitely becoming a very powerful front-end for 3D. Stay tuned for more videos with tips and examples. See ya!